Oh, hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Tim Botuk, and this is A Joy of Painting Middle Earth, a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer. And maybe we'll paint a scary one a time or two. That can be quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to paint right along with me. So if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. All right, welcome once again to the joy of painting Middle Earth. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy you've come and visited me again as we go on these painting adventures. And you see, we've got a black canvas today. That's always an exciting day. That's right. We're going to paint something that's a little scary today. One of those paintings. And I've already prepared the canvas. And what I've done is this canvas is just covered with a black gesso. That's an acrylic paint. You just lay that down on the canvas. This was a white canvas and I painted it black all the way to begin with. That's right. You can buy black ones as well, but I didn't have any. So I just painted this one black so we could do this painting of Minis Morgul. That's right. Oh, it's so fun. So fun. And what I've done to this, I've put on some phthalo blue and some sap green. And you can kind of see it on there. Not real well, not real well, but you'll see the magic of this as it comes out once we hit it with this titanium white in our fan brush. That's right. We're just going to come up here into this and it's already got the blue on there. And Oh, it's appropriate that it's blue because we were taught how to paint by the blue wizard. Bob Ross the blue, that's right. He would come to the Shire, oh, once a week when I was just a boy. There we go. You see that? Oh, that just comes right out there. That just comes right out. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Oh, and what we're doing is we're going to wash off that brush. So we're not going to go back in. We're not going to mess up our white. We wash the brush in odorless paint thinner, and then we have a rubbish bin right down below, and we just beat the Sauron out of the brush down here in the rubbish bin. That's right. Now we'll go back into that titanium white, load up that brush again, and we'll just come in here, and we're just putting these clouds in. And you see, it just, it just mixes right with that phthalo blue that's already there. And also that sap green. And why do we have that? Because, oh, you'll see there's that greenish glow that comes from Minas Morgul. There we go. Just wash that off. Pick up some more titanium white and come right back here. And we're not going to spend a lot of time on these clouds. But we just want to put those in. Just want to put those in. Now we're going, we have some green in here. And that green produces a glow. So we'll come in. There we go. Some more titanium white. And now we're going to go right down into this green here. Oh, you see that? Oh, what a disgusting glow. That's right. Oh, that's not a place you'd want to be. And you see, we just pull that down. There we go. There we go. This is where that city is, Minas Morgul. It used to be a city called Minas Ithil. That's right. Long, long ago, it was Minas Ithil. And oh, what a city it was. But then the Witch King of Angmar. Oh, you know that brute. The Witch King of Angmar? Yes. Well, he took it over with all his ring wraiths. And that's what it was. It was the city of ring wraiths. And so right now we're just creating that glow that's in there. And we're going to go right on top of that. We'll go right on top of that. And we're going to soften this glow up. There we go. That just gives us a background to put our tower on. There we are. And what we're going to do, 
Let's wash off that brush. Ah, uh, we're going to use this blender brush. We haven't used this in a while. We do like this brush. And what we'll do is we're just going to come in here and we're just going to soften this out. You see that? That takes those brush strokes right out of it. And we just roll that around. There we go. And gently, gently, we work that in. Just mixing those colors together. But you don't want to kill it all. You want some of that to look like it's floating fog in there. That's right. Oh, that's what you want. You want it to look like it's just floating out of that city. Oh, and it had an eerie glow to it. Oh, that's right, that's right, it did. There we are. So we soften that up and now we can come up into our sky. And we'll just mix it in there. And you see these clouds? Those will mix in together as well. There we go. There we go. Just use that just lightly. As you're up in the clouds, that white was a little thick up there. So you don't want to really mash it in because that'll ruin the effect. Now we're just going lightly. Here we're pressing that all into the canvas. And now we're just, we're just making that soft up there. Oh, and you can see how those clouds take shape. There we are. We just want to pull out those brush strokes. There we go. Oh, in this city now, Minis, Minis Morgul. Well, it's not Minis Morgul anymore. I'm happy to report. I'm happy to report. Oh, Faramir went in and he took care of this city after the War of the Ring. That's right, my grand gaffer Gamgee, he told me all about seeing this city. Oh, when he and Mr. Frodo and, oh, that villain Gollum, he was going to take them right over there. And they saw the city firsthand when it was at its worst. Oh, and that's what we're going to paint tonight. We're going to paint Minas Morgul when it was at its worst, when it was ruled by the Witch King of Angmar. Oh, that's right. That's right, so we just soften up those clouds just in the sky up there. There we go. You don't want it flat, but you do want it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I love this blender brush. and But it does shed a little bit. Let's just pull off that hair, because otherwise it gets dried. Oh, we're ruining this cloud, trying to pull this hair off. Look at that, we're making a mess. Let's go to our handy dandy palette knife. And we'll just scoop up. Where'd it go? Oh, I should probably paint with my glasses on. I lost it. I lost it. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Come out. Aha! I got you, you villain. Oh, who knew such a small thing could be a villain? Oh, that's right. There we go. Let's come back. Oh, look at that cloud. We messed up that cloud. But this is the magic of the blender brush. You see this? We'll just come in here with some light, soft circles. And there we go. Look at that. That cloud is something else. Oh, and that just gives us a beautiful background for this painting. Now we have something to build upon. And the first thing we need to build are the mountains, that's right, that are all the way in the back. We do this in layers. We do it in layers, just like we're making a sandwich. We put the first piece of bread, which is the sky down, and then we put the mountains in. Okay, let's wash our blender brush. Now this blender brush is very soft and it will soak up quite a bit of your odorless paint thinner. So you just want to be careful and not throw the odorless paint thinner all over your hobbit hole. 
That's right. Okay, there we go. Now let's come, let's come to our palette knife. And we're going to put some mountains in the back that are towers standing in front of. So we'll come up, we'll make a dark mountain color. So we just have some of that burnt umber and some of our ivory black. Oh, I didn't say all the colors. We don't have many tonight. This is just a simple painting. And we have our phthalo blue and sap green, of course. We talked about those. Our burnt umber, our ivory black, our lemon yellow. No, not lemon yellow. Cadmium lemon. You're trying to trick me, yellow yar. That's right. Oh, and of course, titanium white. We love the titanium white. So we just make up our mountain color here. Just that dark color. That's right. Just grab it on the edge of the knife. And now what we're going to do, the mountain will get lost in the glow here. So we're not going to come all the way to the center. And these mountains are just going to come up. Up like this. There we go. Just draw it down. Just draw it down. There we are. And we're going to have some mountains on the side. So just, just something like that. And just pull that down into your canvas. There we go. And we'll do the same on the other side. And it looks like we still have quite a bit of paint there. So let's come, let's come, and we'll bring this one up a little higher right here. And maybe he comes to a peak and comes down, and there's another one that just comes off this way. There we go. And pull those mountains. Just pull that paint into the painting, scrape it off the excess paint. We don't need that much. There we go. Maybe there's one back there. Bring that in as well. And back here. There we go. And that quick, that quick. Maybe there's a peak that goes up that way. We'll throw a mountain on that side too. So we're not too worried about it. Just pull off that excess paint. There we go. And... Oh, we didn't put out any paper towel. All right. And we've grabbed up our two inch brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this, these mountains, just pull them right down into the painting there. There we go. And we just let it get lost in that fog. That fog will just cover the front of that. There we are. Now let's grab up our palette knife again. We'll just set that brush off to the side. And we want to come. And what we want to do is there's that greenish glow that will be on the mountains there. So we want to get a bit of a green. Oh, look at that. That titanium right. Titanium white is being naughty. It's running away from us. Let's just put a little of that there. Let's just grab some of this green. We're not going to work it all the way in. We want it to be marbled, but look at that. Look at that green color. Just pick that up and pull it down. There we go. What we do is just cut across, get a little bit on your knife, and then these mountains, they're going to be highlighted with this greenish glow. See that? There we go. And just let that paint break off. Just lightly bring your knife across. And 
and you see how you pull that mountain right in front of the other but it gets lost back there that's right maybe this comes we'll just put this face right here just pull that down the glow from the city from Minas Morgul its tower and its city is lighting up those mountains there we go and that is in the dark there maybe back here right there there we go and you're just lightly just pulling this down and you see that you're creating some space and some depth there you're creating those peaks there we are now just wipe off that palette knife now let's take some of that titanium white and the other side is getting the glow from the moon that's right the shadow side so just take our titanium white and just a touch of thalo blue that thalo blue is so powerful oh it'll turn it just almost the same color of blue that it is so you just mix that in with the white you see we just used a little and it really changed the color of that titanium white but you have that just go there just get that little piece and let's come back here and this side of the mountain is in the shadow of the moonlight oh it's um putting myself into a trap here putting myself into a trap there we go and just highlight this back edge there we are it's just getting that moonlight there that soft moonlight and just bring him down there we go now take that smaller edge you're just going to grab that smaller edge to get into some of these some of these spots here not too much not too much there we go we'll bring that over there There we are. So you see, we've created that valley. It looks like those mountains just go all the way back into our painting. That's right. Now it's time to build the tower. That's right. There we go. So we're going to put our tower in there. And what we want to do is we want to build, we want to build it dark and then we'll come back and we'll put the color into it. So we're going to take just that dark, color we did for the mountains and we'll put that down for the tower as well. Now back in the days when the city was Minas Ithio, this was called the Tower of the Moon and it had moonlight trapped in it that radiated out of it. But these days, oh let's, why don't we scrape it out first? So let's do that. I almost made the mistake and it would get very messy here, but let's just take this and This is where our tower is going to come through. So we do this. Just wipe off on a paper towel. There we go. We just make that area that that tower is going to lay right across. Just pull the excess paint off. Now let's come back to that, that dark color there. And I'm trying not to get in your way. Now, whenever I do this, I tilt my head to the side and I end up, my tower will end up, it'll be crooked. If you know of a tower that's crooked, you might think that's what it is. But not this. This is Minas Morgul. And we just bring that tower this way. There we go. Just creating that.
And if I do make a crooked, that's okay. That's okay. We're just having fun. We're just having fun. Just trying to do these paintings and just a little bit of time. Now this top was a bit of a mystery. The way old Professor Tolkien, he described it. The top was rotating. I don't know how to paint that. But we'll just, we'll give it some, some spikes up here. That's right. We'll make it look like the Witch King's helmet. There we go. That's what we're doing. We're just making it look like that villain's helmet. So that'll stick up there. And maybe another spike comes out this way. But there was a level up there that was rotating as they looked at it. As my grandpappy, or my, excuse me, my grand gaffer Gamgee, and old Mr. Frodo came out and looked at it. Oh, it was mesmerizing, but with fear. That's right. That is right. We'll just make that crown on the tower. There we go. That's how we'll make ours. You may want to paint yours different. You might do that. I, that's okay. You do it how you want to do it. It's your painting. It's your world, as Bob Ross the Blue used to say. That's right. He used to say that when he taught us all how to paint. There we go. And just take that to a spike. Maybe there's another one back there. Oh, look at that. That does not look like a fun place. And maybe it even came out. We'll bring it out like this. And back in here. There we go. That's our tower. That is our tower. There we go. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to scrape out some of that paint we've just laid down. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll make some levels here. We'll put in some walls. Maybe there's some more towers up this way. And just using that palette knife, you just shape it how you want. Remember, remember these things, these things weren't perfect. We'll shape it like this. There we go. There we go, and just bring those walls down. Those will get lost in that glow. There we go. Let's put another one of those in there. That's right. We'll put another tower, another level in here, another wall. Bring it back this way. We'll go up with it, and then back this way. There we go. We're just making this up as we go along. Making it up as we go along. There we are. Just pull that paint right down.
Maybe there's a tower back that way. And one back this way. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Now let's do something. Let's take that blender brush. Let's take that and let's just soften this up. And I've not planned this out. I just thought, oh, let's see what this will do. Just an experiment. Just an experiment. There we go. Just pull some of that up. And we don't want to lose too much of that. So there we are. Maybe, maybe. I probably need a smaller blender brush for this type of thing. I just want it to look like this fog is coming through. Maybe I should put some white in there because we want to we want to highlight this tower with some white. Let's just come back and grab some of that. Go back into that greenish color there. We don't want it to be a straight white. Put some of that on your palette knife and then let's let's give this some highlight here. There we go. That glow, that fog, it was, the city was lit, but it wasn't lit with the moonlight when it was Minas Ithil. That's right, no, it was lit with a corpse light, a light of decay. That's right, a light of death. Oh, that's awful. That is awful. But that's what it was. That is what it was. Just come back and highlight these a bit. There we go. Just let that paint fall off. Make sure you don't lose the fact that it was a spike. I like those spikes. It reminds me of the Witch King. So keep that in your painting. There we are. And let's just give that wall some highlight as well. There we go. Just pull that down. Just gets lost in that fog. That's what it does. There we go. Now let's put some more. Let's put one more level up here. This will be where the gate was. That's right, it had a gate. Looked like a mouth. Bring that up. There we go. And let's bring this wall this way. Just bring this wall over. And then let's put some, maybe this has some bigger spikes on it. There we go. Maybe it goes back this way too. And do another spike back this way. Now I hope that's all right. I'm gonna step in front of you. Oh, okay, I'm a little bit crooked there, but we'll see if we can fix that. 
We'll see if we can fix that. Just bring it down this way. Do that line there. And we'll bring that spike up this way. There we go. And if you want to pre-plan this, if you want to, if you want to mark up your canvas and put where you're going to draw your building, that's fine too. You can do that. That would be fine. That would be fine. Just bring that down. There we go. It'll get lost over on the sides. Now again, let's come, let's come to our highlight color and let's highlight this wall. So this just comes down like this. There we go. Do this side. Oh, and it has that evil glow to it. That's right. It was not a very inviting place. That's for sure. That's for sure. We may need to work up some more of that color. Just a touch of sap green in there. Mix that together. There we go. Maybe a little more white on there. There we are. Now come up and we'll highlight it from the side here. And we'll do the same with this one. Just highlighting from the inside, where that glow is coming from. There we are. And then use the small part of your palette knife. Highlight the wall there. There we go. Just over here. Now, there was some water here, so what we want to do is we want to give the appearance that there's some reflection in this water. And we'll just come up like this, just outline in here. And you see I have some more of that blue down there, so you see that. You see that, but that water probably wasn't very blue. It probably wasn't very inviting. You probably wouldn't want to go swimming in that water. Oh no. So let's just grab this and pull straight down. Straight down. Just given the appearance of that building in the water. There we go. Just pull that straight down. Now, clean off that brush just in your rubbish bin and let's just pull it out this way and that. Just creating that reflection there. There we go. And you're just pulling straight across. There we go. There we are. There we are. 
And you say, oh, Timbo, that's a mess. That's a mess, Timbo. Oh, I know that. I know that. I'm just trying to find my brushes. And there it is. But we had, we had a, a bridge that came across this way. And let's put that bridge in. Just grab it here. And let's let's maybe use our palette knife to put that bridge across. There we go. We're just gonna do the top of this bridge running across the water. Maybe if it cooperates with us. If it cooperates. It came out this way and maybe it bent back this way. Oh, I'm getting some blue in there too. I didn't mean to do that. But as it comes across, it'll get wider. And we're grabbing some colors, that's okay. That's okay, just bring it over this way. Bring it down. And let's give that bridge a little something it's sitting on. There we go. There we are, and don't worry, we'll put some rocks in front of there. But, maybe it's a little too clean. Maybe it's a little too clean, so let's rough it up a bit. Let's rough it up a bit. Put some color in there. Come up, get some of our brown, it'll mix in. It'll mix in. There we go. Oh, man, I'm pulling some paint off. Sometimes that happens. You start trying to put paint down and you're pulling it off. That's okay. That's something you got to learn how to fix. Let's come to our brown there. Let's put this path, it comes right like this. There you go. Put that in there. A little more brown, put that in. Just cover up some of that blue. There we go. And you see our path as we, we get closer, the glow starts to pick it up. That's right. That's a good excuse, I guess. I just was painting it and I thought, oh, maybe that's what's happening. Oh, I didn't plan that. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That does not look like a place you would want to go visit. No, it does not. And it's a good thing my grand gaffer Gamgee and Mr. Frodo didn't visit here. No, no. All right. Well, I was going to try and put in some fog, but you can do that. Or maybe we'll just put in a water line. That's right, that's what we'll do. Just take some titanium white, 
And let's just give it a water line over here. Just where the water is hitting the bottom of that castle, that city. And then just blackness back there. That's right. Because you have to have you have to have some blackness with the ring wraiths. That's right. Oh, I almost messed that up. Just pull this straight across. Just using that titanium white right there on the bottom. Put it into the water some. There we go. You wouldn't want to go in that water, that's for sure. All right, look at that, look at that. But we did have some mountains on the side here. Oh, and some stairs that went up to the pass of Kirathungal. Oh no, say it ain't so. That was a dreadful way to go. I don't know what's worse, going through Minas Morgul or going through Kirathungal and Shelob's cave. Oh, maybe we should paint that. Oh, I bet some of you are afraid of spiders. Oh, and who wouldn't be with old Shelob? That's for sure. We're just taking some some of that burnt umber, just creating this ground color for these rocks. This just comes right down on this side. So this is on this side of the bridge. We just put that in. Cover up that water that was there already. These mountains just come right down to the pass. That's right. And just put that paint on there. And you see the black creates the shadows. Now we want to put some highlight in there. So just grab some of our titanium white. And we'll come up with a bit of a, not much of a highlight, but we just want to give it some rocky appearance. So we just grab it bring it down there we go you see that and so quick we can create all those rocks all those rocks just grab it and bring it down and let the canvas help you out that's right just let the canvas work for you just between the canvas and your palette knife just create those nice rocks there there we go just putting that on Put that on, there we are, just run it down right to the bottom there, right to our path. And maybe we got some shore here. Or a bank, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Now we got one on that side. Uh, let's, I didn't see this. Let's just highlight that edge. There we go. So we've got that on that side. Let's put one over here, but on this side, oh, we know this side. This side had something there. This side had the stairs, the pass of Kirathungal. Oh yes, we'll put those in. 
And we're using a lot of paint here. There we go. Maybe there's some big rocks right here. Just put those rocks in. Right at the edge there. Another one over on this side. And if you want to take a little more time and maybe build an archway, well, that might get in the way of your castle there or your fort or city, whatever you want to call it. But if you want to take some time and make that, maybe some pillars, maybe some statues. Oh, go right ahead. Go right ahead. We'll just put some rock right there. Just right here. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Let's get this guy finished off. We got a lot of paint on there. Let's just scrape it off and use it over on this side. There we go. All right. Now let's give that a little highlight and then we'll get into our stairs. There we go. Just mix up a little highlight color there. Just bring it across. And oh, just bring that down, just like that, just like that. There we go. Bring this down, bring that down, there we are. Just like that. Highlight that edge. There we are. Now you know, you know the story. There was a hidden, a hidden path here. Stars, stars that went up to the pass of Kirthungal. Oh, that cave, that labyrinth where old Shelob lived. We'll just put that right there. Now, of course, this was very hidden and we wouldn't be able to spot it so easily, but we're doing a painting and we, we want to be able to see what we're painting. I could just say, oh, it's there, it's done. You can't see it, but what fun would that be? No, no, so we're just gonna take, let's wipe off this knife. There we go. We're just going to take that short edge of the blade there and we're just going to come up here and we're going to put these stairs in. Just the indication. Just the indication. They were uneven. Oh, that's the best kind of thing to, to paint. Something that's uneven and you don't have to worry about making it. Oh, exact. That's right. I'm happy about that. And of course, this was very tall, a very long path to take. Oh, that's right. There we go, there we go. Now, of course, as my grandpappy took, he would tell, oh, he would tell the story sometimes. He'd get into his cups and he'd embellish the story a little bit. He would say that old oh, Mr. Frodo was poisoned by Gollum and sent old, oh, my grand gaffer Gamgee. Oh, you know, Samwise the Brave. Oh, Grandpappy Took would say that Mr. Frodo sent him away, was poisoned in the mine by Gollum. But we don't think that happened. My grand gaffer Gamgee said, no, no. He would never do that. So you just take, you just take the way you want to know the story. 
There we go. And of course, as I said, these stairs wouldn't be so obvious. You wouldn't be able to see them like this. Oh, only an evil creature like old Gollum would see them. There we go. There we go. But let's make an attempt to hide those a little bit. Let's just say, oh, there was a rock that came right over here. And it hid that a little bit. Okay. Okay, maybe there's something hiding it there. Maybe there's a big rock on this side. And those orcs, they weren't too bright. That's for sure. That's for sure. So they weren't going to notice. They weren't going to notice real quick. Just put some highlight there. There we go. Maybe. Just some rocks hiding the stairs. There we are. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, Minas Morgul. Oh, such a frightful place. Oh, and I hope you enjoyed that painting today. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, and look at me. I forgot to do the YouTuber thing of saying, oh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, share, do all of those things. You know, you know what to do. So this is a very fun one. I hope you had a good time. I would love to see your paintings. If you do them, you can find me on the Facebook or the Instagram, and you can send them along to me. I'd love to see them. That's right. Now, happy painting to you. Goodbye, and God bless.